what's the deal with women competing versus men in off season competitions? I feel like generally the men's fields have way heavier top, like even at yes. Wadapalooza last year, there was a bunch or not a, bu- maybe not a bunch, but there was a big handful of guys that did both individual and team in the women's division. There was almost none of that here. Well, we see even the, like the pages of people that did the qualifier. It's like double at least for men. Cause like, these, what's, what's the deal? They, what, I mean, I think this is just a, this is just an issue with the entire sport, but the male depth of talent is so much greater than the female depth of talent. I mean, even the difference between top half at semifinals comparatively to the guys is huge. Yep. I mean, we, we, Brian's talked about it ad nauseum about this, this, this point that like when you get to any competition, like the top half or the top 10, the levels to this stuff is completely evident on the female side more so than on the male side. But even 100%, even you're just talking about them even wanting to compete. In the yeah, offseason. even games qualifiers, like there's only one individual games qualifier on this entire list. But you, you look what? on the men, right? In the of women from this past year? No, man Christine. and Anganese and also... Oh, Colin Brander. Colin yeah, Brander. Two. Um, and then no, keep going. There's one at the bottom. Uh, Sturt. No, she didn't qualify this year. No. Oh, sorry. Um, and so I just feel like even the top been. heavy, like even qualifiers from the games, you look at the men's leaderboard, mm. you got, yeah. you know, on the front right. page, you got six qualifiers, is- six of the bottom 25 men that didn't get a spot or whatever automatically. My take is that like the women don't feel the need to slang it around and measure it like the guys do. Like, I feel like a lot of women play a smarter game where they train and build for the open quarterfinals, semifinals in the games where a lot of guys are like, nah, I got to compete again. I got to get back out there. You think, gotta, it might, like, you think it might be an issue with, issue with partnerships and how financially set up the females are comparatively to the guys? That's kind of my thought. Hmm. Like but that if you, if you have strong representation and you've got a good team and you've set yourself up with partnerships that you don't need to compete as much. Right. But that's a, that's a it, very good point. Maybe the, 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 the social media monster is a lot more conducive to females than it is to males. And that's why they, they have to compete more simply to earn a living. Makes sense to me. Will steering us in the direction that he wants us to go in. I like, yeah, it. that's, uh, <laughs> it, it is very true though, that the men, the male depth of talent, especially in North America is so much deeper.